We continue our knowledge sharing mission through a series of interviews with executive leaders from all over the world and are thrilled to have Thorny Juan with us today. Hi, Thorny. Hi, Roman. Nice of you to have me here. I'm a lawyer, but I take care of corporate and regulatory affairs for Coca-Cola Beverages Philippines Inc. Can you give us a one-sentence description of your company? So I work for Coca-Cola Beverages Philippines Inc. We are the butlers of Coca-Cola products in the Philippines. Coca-Cola has been in the Philippines for over 110 years already. We started here around 1912. And having said that, we encapsulized what we do here in a short phrase. We like to say that what we do is we deliver happy, refreshing moments to Filipinos and everyone else within our 7,107 islands with every bottle and can that we serve. Can you describe the role of a director for corporate and regulatory affairs in one word and why? I would say wired. Why? As a corporate and regulatory affairs director, you really have to be immersed in everything that goes on from within and without. You are totally immersed. So you have to have a feel of the pulse of the company insofar as operations are concerned, how the people are doing, how sales are doing, how our supply chain is going. But at the same time, you also have to function as like the weather vane also for the outward environment, the business environment that we operate in. So in effect, yeah, as the head of this function, you have to be wired. What current challenges are directors for corporate and regulatory affairs facing right now? Can you identify a solution? For this particular function, there's a lot going on now. I would imagine that my colleagues also are navigating through the regulatory hurdles that each one of us faces as heads of our functions. Because being in an industry like ours, in the fast-moving consumer goods industry, we have to deal with a lot of regulators and ensure that our companies are in compliance with the rules, the laws of the land that are in place. A lot of it has to do with the fact that being multinational corporations, corporate reputation is very, very important. So making sure that we toe the line and at the same time are able to thrive within the particular business environment, these will be the biggest issues that face us in our function. Solutions, probably really just being available, making sure that you are in constant touch with your regulators, knowing what their policy frameworks look like, advising them from time to time how your business is going, and basically just making sure that your company is on the up and up. It sounds a little simple, but a lot of work goes behind doing that. What marketing or business trends are you taking advantage of right now? If you mean personally, what we're really big on right now is how AI is getting more prevalent in the stuff we do. We're in the FMCG industry, and when this industry started moving, I want to say in the last century, if any, I don't think there was any, there was no AI in play. There was no internet to speak of, and yet now, it seems to be a new space for everyone to immerse in. And if you're not there, that space is like you're conceding that part of the battlefield already. So being a Gen Xer, I'm trying to learn as much on it as I can. We're not digital natives like you guys. We're basically digital migrants. So all of this started happening. The internet started booming. AI started coming into precedence when we were roughly around your age already. So we did get the head start that you guys have. So in a way, these are the things that we really have to bone up on if we are to stay relevant today. What career advice would you like to share with directors for corporate and regulatory affairs? If we're talking about people who aspire to that position, I would advise these aspirants to just make sure that your networks continue to expand. Try your best, although it can be tempting. Try your best not to burn bridges especially as you rise up the career ladder, because you never know your adversary in the market today, or for myself as a lawyer, your adversaries in court might end up to be your allies the next day. And we do have a way of helping each other out, you know, because we know each other. It's a very small industry, but it's one with very, very big possibilities. As a career, these particular specialists are in high demand. Corporate affairs guys, regulatory affairs people, These are the kinds of guys who you need, especially in times of uncertainty, because they can really help not just navigate through policy messes or maybe crises such as this pandemic. They're the ones who know how to manage uncertainty. So if you wanted to do this job, practice, expand your networks and be open to new experiences. 
Right, Ernie, I think this brings us to a close. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, and I'm looking forward to the next catch-up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Torpus.